What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I am going to talk about how to fix your device descriptors request failed unknown USB device error that is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about, we just need to go over here, search for the control panel and right now from here we need to move to the further steps. So over here in the control panel, if you're not having this particular option, make sure that you change this one to large icons. Sometimes this might be in the category. So you have to change from the category to the large icon. So you'll be able to find the power options, click on the power option. And right now we have preferred plans under the preferred plans, click on the change plan settings. Now from here, we have another option called change advanced power settings. Now from here what we need to do is just go over here, scroll down and navigate to the USB settings, expand this and if you find the USB selective suspended setting, expand this as well and over here you can see we have options called settings. So if it is enabled, what we need to do is try changing this one to disabled. So under the USB setting, they will be having an option. So you might be having battery or any other options. Don't think about the USB this one. So under this one, whatever options you're having, just change one into disabled, go for apply and go for okay. And now we need to go back. From here, we just need to go back to the power options once again. Now click on choose what the power buttons do. Now from here, we have to make sure one thing. If this particular option that is turn on fast startup is not turned on, you have to put a check on this particular box and you have to proceed further. So right now for me, it is already grayed out. So this will not be the case. For some users, this might be visible. If that is the case, you just need to put a check on this particular box and you have to close this. And afterwards, we just need to move to the next step. Afterwards, still if you're having the trouble, we just need to go over here, search for the device manager and you have to click on the device manager. And this time, what we need to do is just go over here and we need to navigate to the USB set over here. And right now, from here, we need to select the USB with your having this particular trouble. So I'm going to demonstrate you with one example. So let me select this particular USB over here. So I click on this one. And first one, we need to disable it. After disabling, you have to, what we need to do is after disabling, try doing a restart on a system, then just connect back the USB and you have to check, it will be reinstalled back and you have to check whether that's solving the issue. If that is not solving, we have to go over here, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, navigate to the details. Now over here, you can see there is an option called property from device description. You have to change it to device instance path. So right now we got this particular value that is USB VID 0460AB7. So just keep in mind this and we need to go over here, search for the run command and press enter and just type rigid it. And that's going to take you to this, go for yes. And right now what we need to do is that will be like this. You have to go for H key local machine, expand this. Then we have to go to system, expand this as well. Now from here, we have to navigate to the control set that is 001, then go for expanding enum. Now from here, you have to go over here and from enum, what we need to just go over here and expand the USB. Okay. So right now, after expanding the USB, you have to find this particular value that we found right now, that is USB. VID 046PD0AB7. Just go over here and find 0AB7. So keep scrolling down. That is VID 046PID0AB7. So this is the value. Just find the same value and right click over here and go for new. Go to D word 32 bit value. And here we need to create a, a key and name it Enhance It Power Management Enabled created this particular value then you have to give this particular one over here like this and you have to try removing everything over here and you have to do a restart most probably they should be completely fixed this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful that's it bye bye